hello hello my good people welcome again to my channel and guess what guys today i'm coming live from yabo and today i have a, a very handsome boy here is it a boy or a, a man anyway you know when you say a boy sometimes it's a, for beautification uh -huh. it sound nice a boy a boy but, but sometimes okay it may sound like you are putting someone down uh -huh. however it's just for some cute guy here. A cute guy. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly speaking, yeah, yeah, it's a cute guy. So guys, he's from Uganda. He's gonna tell us his name and uh, about uh, maybe YouTube because I know he's a YouTuber and he's gonna tell us more about uh, Uganda, how he came to Kenya, how to Nyaboanze, then we get to know him about his life. Welcome to Cyprian Channel. Oh, thank you. Yeah, maybe you can tell our viewers your name, where do you come from, and how comes you got yourself in Nyabuanze? Oh, okay. Uh, my name is Okavin. Mm -hmm. I'm a Ugandan, just as you said, you put yeah. it right. Yeah. Uh, half Kenyan in a way because I started here and I fell in love with Kenya for, I think you can see. Yeah, I love uh, Kenya. Yes, I've lived in Kenya for some good time. Mm -hmm. Like, I also studied here. Mm -hmm. So Kenya is my home, my second home. Mm -hmm. I would say so. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a YouTuber, mm -hmm. a content creator. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have a, 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 a fast growing channel. Mm -hmm. But though right now it has a problem. Mm -hmm. So I'm starting a new channel. You know, in life, I believe, never give up. Maybe there's someone outside there gonna wonder what is the problem. Maybe you know some YouTubers, maybe they don't know, maybe they are undergoing the same issues like yours, mm. you can elaborate. It's quite tricky to find out because YouTube will never tell you mm -hmm. straight away like this is the issue. Does it mean Unless it, was... it is a reused content, they will tell you. Other mm -hmm. things they will never tell you. Does so, it mean it's like uh, it was terminated? Okay, it, uh, yeah, it was terminated from the monetization process stuff, mm -hmm. yeah. So the issue is not yet clear, mm -hmm. but I don't want to hang on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want so to start with just something started different. the new one immediately. Yeah. Yeah. So in your new channel, what do you do? Travels and adventures, usually. Travel. Yeah. What motivated you to start traveling? Uh, I love exploring. Mm -hmm. I love traveling. Mm -hmm. I love meeting new people mixing up with new cultures, learning from others. Mm -hmm. Because I believe we have something unique, each of us in our own cultures. Mm -hmm. And there's something we can offer to the other culture. Mm -hmm. Just know that there's no best and there's no bad culture. Mm -hmm. There's no good and no bad culture. Each culture has got a certain aspect to share. Mm -hmm. And I love doing that. So, so does it mean you're going to travel in the whole world or maybe you start from Kenya, then you go to the next destination? I have no limit when it comes to traveling. Wherever I feel like going, I go. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have maybe, no maybe there's someone outside there wondering how do you get money to use for travel? You know it's expensive. Yeah, it is expensive. But sometimes our friends support, ourselves mm -hmm. also support. And you know when the channel is monetized, it becomes easier. Mm -hmm. You can fly like a bird. Does it any... mean when you monetize your channel, you start yeah. earning immediately? You don't earn immediately, but it will give you maybe one month or two months and mm -hmm. you get the money mm -hmm. and be able mm -hmm. to move. But also it depends on which kind of content and how people have fallen in love with your content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that will determine the revenue you mm -hmm. are getting. Yeah. So, so far, how many countries maybe you have gone or counties? Okay, I've been to South Africa, Lesotho, I've uh, been to Kenya, of course, I've been to Uganda, <laughs> my own home country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I've not yet traveled as such, mm -hmm. but it's my passion. Mm -hmm. It's my passion to travel. Mm -hmm. um, because of that, still, uh, I'm coming up with a tourism company wow. to accommodate people who love traveling. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes people don't want to travel because of the big fear we have. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to a new country, a new yeah. place, whom I, there's, there's no person I know over there. Mm -hmm. Where will I start from? But if uh, you have someone, you know, there, you are assured of accommodation, you are assured of being given a direction here and there. You mm -hmm. get what I mean? Yeah. So <clears throat> that motivated me, like, I should come up with such a thing. I have very many friends in the U.S. Mm -hmm. who would like to come here. But some of them are like, hey, when we come, where shall we start from? Mm -hmm. you get? So that motivated me, like, I should find a way how I can come up with a, uh, something organized mm -hmm. in case someone wants to move in here. Yeah. We also have uh, our brothers and sisters who were taken as, whose parents were taken as slaves in the U.S., yeah. the black Americans. Yes. Some of them feel like they need to come back home. Mm -hmm. uh, the UA, uh, Jamaican guys, they feel like they need to come back to, to, the, to the African continent. Mm -hmm. But some of them have been messed up. Like they come here and meet wrong people. 
and they lose whatever they have, yeah. they go back frustrated. Mm -hmm. Like, just imagine someone of 50 years mm -hmm. losing all his money yeah. to someone here in Africa, and then he goes back to zero. Yeah. And the only option is to go back to the U.S., and the U.S. is going to, is to start from zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. With the digital tourism company, we want to kind of start a, a platform where people are given like lessons to learn, given something to move around. Mm -hmm. You know, when you come to Africa, touring, going to game parks is not enough for you to know mm -hmm. Africa. Wow. It's not enough. Going to Masai Mara is not enough. Yeah. Someone who needs to move to <clears throat> Africa needs mm -hmm. to come and really have a really feeling of Africa. Mm -hmm. Be accommodated, stay for a month, mm -hmm. three months be given some lessons, get to know the attitude of people here, how people do things, <coughs> and then decide mm -hmm. whether you are to stay or mm -hmm. you are to go back. Mm -hmm. You get? Yeah. Yeah. You may think US is the, okay, is very rough on black people or whatever, and then you think Africa will be very simple for you. Mm -hmm. No, you have to learn here you, yeah. before you can move in. Very yeah. true. Now, I may want to ask you, do you get like uh, negative comments in traveling vlogs? Yeah, sometimes, you know, YouTube is, uh, let me say, being online, it's like putting your life outside there for everyone to judge, mm -hmm. you get. And people have got different opinions over things. For you, what you will see that it is positive, someone else will see it's negative. And you remember, you don't have control over that judgment. So what next? You leave it to them, do your thing. So you just assume, you know, sometimes me, when I see negative comments, I'm like, oh my God. No, let me now give you a, a real story. Mm -hmm. When I came to Marwa's place mm -hmm. the first time, yeah. I did a video from that point, sloping mm -hmm. down, yeah. looking for Marwa. Mm -hmm. And I went on asking people, where is Marwa, where is Marwa? Mm -hmm. The time I did that video, there was already drama going on online. Michael Ponte, Mich Michael Ponte, yeah. and Marwa. Yeah, yeah. So I shot that video and uh, I posted it. Mm -hmm. I did, in that video, I ended at the gate of Marwa, and I'm like, hey, finally, I'm at Marwa's place. And then he, everyone commented, guys, they were very negative comments. Someone writes a full page. You're like, what? these Africans, you're looking for someone. Uh -huh. You're doing what? You're uh -huh. exposing someone is home. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. They talked a lot, they talked a lot, they looked, uh, no? Uh -huh. But the idea of the video is to show guys that you can find you are this just guy finding, uh, looking for looking a marrow. For him, yeah. uh, when I posted the, another video, everyone went quiet. And all the, the comments were very <laughs> positive. They were positive, you know? Yeah. But for me, I intended it. Mm -hmm. I was like, let me do this and I won't show Marwa. Mm -hmm. But if, that very day, I, had, I met Marwa. Mm -hmm. yeah. But in that video, I showed people that I had not met Marwa, I only ended at the gate. Uh -huh. And people are like, whoa, especially the West Africans. You know, you know what? When you talk about Marwa, there are some people who believe like Marwa is like a, is not a welcoming person. You know, some people they judge him a lot in uh, in the in YouTube sections mostly. I don't know. Maybe you can give us a brief story when you arrived there. How he welcomed you? How was everything? My experience with Marwa is excellent. Wow. I, 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 he has welcomed me, mm -hmm. has shared a lot with me, has been with me. He's more than just, um, like, we are more than just subscribers to each other. Mm -hmm. We are like friends. Mm -hmm. We share ideas, he, he advises here and there. So everyone is free to say whatever I want to say. Maybe. Did you send him an info or did you call him before you come? You no, can... I didn't. Uh -huh. I didn't. I didn't. I uh, only wrote, he wrote to him later, but I've been following him for several times. And uh -huh. for me, I, I honestly, I'm always creative in my own way. I don't uh -huh. communicate. Uh -huh. I just bump into you because I don't <laughs> want to forge things. I yeah. don't want to forge things. I want to put something real, real outside there, mm -hmm. how things happen, mm -hmm. yeah, and get my own experience. Mm -hmm. again. So if I'm to come to you, I'll just bump in there. What the, if the you challenge, can't get me? The challenge is that I won't. I may stand not a chance of not finding you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's a matter of risking. Yeah, yeah somehow, somehow, you have to risk. You have now, to risk. when you compare Uganda content creators and the Kenyan content creators, how can you rate? I think um, Kenyans, they have more following on YouTube. Mm -hmm. They do well on YouTube mm -hmm. with uh, 
especially viral videos, mm -hmm. stories, you know, so and so it's fighting so and so. You know that those battles. The kikis. The kikis. Uh -huh. So Uganda, you don't have kikis. Uh, we hardly have such. Uh -huh. We hardly ha uh, yeah have such. Maybe do you have a uh, freedom of movement? Maybe taking videos. Like my friend the, the other day was telling me he went to a Doret, mm. and he was like, you know, you can not take some videos. Do you have something like no, that in filming Uganda? Filming is our an African problem <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone, who, I think. For every content creator would witness that, you know, you mm -hmm. see an African thing, there's no way you'll go and just begin carrying your camera to people's faces. Mm -hmm. You have to be creative. That's why we have small mm -hmm. cameras. Where possible, try to do your things secretly mm -hmm. and move out with your content. Have you yeah. ever gotten yourself into a situation whereby maybe people want to fight you? Uh, not as such, because mm -hmm. I'm always sensitive. Mm -hmm people's feeling. Mm -hmm. One of my most difficult thing in filming in Africa mm -hmm. is that it, it, people are not yet used to filming. Mm -hmm. What we, The difficult we find here would be something different in Europe where I've not yet been. Because mm -hmm. in Europe people carry cameras and it, that's normal. Mm -hmm. Here it's quite difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, it's quite. Now, which is the most painful challenge you ever went through? Oh, the most, I think, is when my channel has issues. <laughs> <laughs> These other things are normal. This one I can. They are normal. The costs are normal. I always program myself mm -hmm. and then, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's good. Maybe an advice to content creators, may it be there in Uganda or Kenya. What can you tell them plus our viewers? Okay. The thing, uh, when we talk about content creators, we're talking about young men getting involved on social media. Mm -hmm. It's mostly young stars who are doing this. And my advice to them, guys, in case it's your passion, don't give up. Mm -hmm. Keep trying, keep trying. Uh, success is not a comfortable zone. You have always to keep trying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you fall, stand up and keep walking. And keep walking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in case you want to start, don't mm -hmm. wait for tomorrow. Start now. Now, now. Yeah, you start now. Uh -huh. There's nothing like I will, I will. Uh -huh. Just I'm starting now. You are starting yeah. now. Yeah. And then do collabs with the people. Yeah. Don't undermine people, like if, even though someone has got one subscriber and they ask for a corabo, give your brother a chance. Yeah. You never know, the following day will be having 100k subscribers and mm -hmm. you are still on 2,000 subscribers. Yeah, you know, and you'll some sense things change. Yes. Yeah. And you'll feel shy to reach out to the brother, like, hey man, mm -hmm. give me, share my video. Oh, mm -hmm. let's do a corabo. Remember, you rejected him at some point. Mm -hmm. So it's good to give each other. You know, opinion. when you speak, uh, like, I remember when I lost my channel, there are some friends I used to tell, like, oh, my God, share my link, do this, you know. They ignored. At that time, I was, like, uh, 1,000, and they were, like, 3,000, 2,000. You know, I used to be, like, oh, my God, these are my friends. But now they have run away. They don't want to support me. You know, nowadays they send me their links in my inbox and I'm sorry to say so. I just a blue tick. Mm. Yeah, honestly mm. speaking. So let's learn to support one another. Maybe today it's me. You, you never know about tomorrow. But that one, I was punching them. But since I've had a, a very positive message from my brother, mm. I'll be sharing your links, guys. Yeah, it's true. It's yeah. true. Let's support but that other. one adds. Let's, mm. let's be realistic. Sometimes we, we get tough. emotional, you know. When I was in need, you were not there you for me. me. But when you have seen me, I've moved it to somewhere, and now you are like, oh, share my link. No, let's help one another. If you want me to help you, let's help one another. Anyway, my viewers are asking, are you, are you mingled? <laughs> oh, we call it off shelf or on shelf. <laughs> yeah. I'm not yet off shelf. I'm uh -huh. still on the shelf. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I'm not searching at the moment. Oh my God. Uh, you are not after pesa, guys. Sorry, this cute, handsome no. boy. Tall, dark. <laughs> but the application, you can, you can submit. They can send. You can send the applications. Uh -huh. However, don't be sure of them. Don't be sure of. You may never know. We may put them in the dustbin. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so guys, thank yes, you so yes. much. Make sure you go to my brother's channel. I'm going to share the link. Show some love. Say, Cyprin, you are cartoon. You are kissy cartoon sent me here. Today I've tried English. You know, I'm used to, to Kiswahili. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, guys. Yeah, so, so guys, I'm happy. 
And may God bless you in whatever you are doing. I know you are going to succeed in Jesus' name. We are Amen. going to make sure you go to 5,000, 10,000, yeah. 20,000. With their support. Yeah, yeah, With sure. With their support, guys, I can grow that big. Yeah. Very fast again. You know, uh. sometimes, like right now, it's like I've fallen, mm -hmm. but I'm trying you to, rise again. to rise again. Yeah, you will. So this is going to be massive mm -hmm. once we we start. It's going wow. to be massive. Amazing. And, uh, you know, guys, I'm so passionate about traveling. Mm -hmm. Like... A day, after, a day before yesterday, I was traveling for more than 18 hours to come oh. here. Mm -hmm. And even right now, mm -hmm. I'm jumping on Matatu, back mm -hmm. to Uganda. Back to Uganda. Yeah. Wow. And you remember, I have classes tomorrow. I have, I have a presentation. I, I, I do master's. So tomorrow, I, I have classes. Oh, guys. Nikona Musomi hapa. Masters. Oh, my God. I wish you all the best. Yeah. May God grant you your wishes. Thank you. So Uganda people... Here we come, Kenyan people. Here is our cute, handsome boy with the. Eh? <laughs> I tell you. I tell you. So, guys, see you. What's it to another another Kenyan content creators at Rusty to scale? Wakona yapi yakusema. Toodles.